What's going on guys? Today I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite saturation plugins you can use. So for starters, I just have a basic F minor chord here, and I'm just playing a detuned saw and serum. So the first plugin is this black box HG2. I use this on nearly everything. This plugin sounds fantastic. It's actually modeled after a $3,000 analog box that has actual tubes in it, but I'll just show you guys what that sounds like. We have the before. I love this plugin because it just sounds great. It also has a stereo width knob. You can mono out the bottom if you'd like to. And it's got a parallel dry wet knob right on it. Just a fantastic sounding plugin. You can also pop it into mid side mode if you'd like to do that as well. Just a fantastic sounding plugin. I'll show you guys a little bit of mid side mode. All right, moving on, we have the default Ableton saturator. Maybe with that. So the default Ableton saturator has a bunch of great different wave shapes. Sometimes I'll use something like the wave shaper, maybe not necessarily for a super saw, but say I pull this down, pull that down, go back to one. We can adjust the curve. Next up, we have Fab Filter Saturn. I've set these plugins up in a way so that we can A, B, and have very similar gain levels. Um, obviously, it, this, with saturation, it's going to sound louder. We're adding more harmonics. Saturn 2 is probably my favorite saturation plugin. The multi-band saturator, we can adjust each band, we can adjust the crossover, slope of each band, and each band we can set to have its own unique saturation type. So I've got heavy saturation here, gentle here, gentle there. We change this to clean tube. We can adjust the mix on each band individually. We can set feedback. We've also got input and output controls. We've got a mix control here. We want to only use 30% or so. With Saturn, there's actually something really cool that you can do as well. If you click this little plus, we can actually take an LFO and apply that LFO to different parameters on the track. Let me show you guys what that sounds like. I'll speed up the LFO. To make it a little easier to hear, I'm going to just use a single oscillator. Up the rate. There's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with Saturn. Saturn 2 also has a linear phase mode that can help with phase shifting, and it also has oversampling. The good is 8 times oversampling, and superb is 32 times oversampling. The oversampling does use a lot of CPU, but I find it really helps reduce artifacting on some of the more extreme saturation. Next, we've got the SPL Twin Tube. Very simple plugin. It's got a saturation setting and a harmonics knob, and you can set what band you'd like the harmonics to be in. 
Very simple plugin that sounds great. Moving on, we've got the newfangled saturate. So this is actually a saturator, limiter, clipper, kind of all in one. Um, I actually frequently use this on as the final stage of clipping on my master. It just sounds fantastic. But I'll show you guys what it sounds like to use as a saturator as well. We can hear it's obviously doing a little bit of limiting, but also adding additional saturation. And lastly, we've got the UAD Studer tape recorder. Universal Audio recently released their native plugins, so they no longer require the UAD hardware DSP to run. Um, there's a handful of plugins right now that you can select, and if you've got the UAD hardware, you can still run it on your old unit, but if you don't own that, uh, they offer a subscription, I believe it's like $20 a month for their plugins. Um, but this is a fantastic saturator as well. It gives you that old school sort of tape distortion. I find it's really nice for adding a little high-end sparkle, typically. Um, there's a lot of different presets, and I'll cycle through some of those real fast. This kind of shinies up the top end a little bit. All right, guys, so that's a handful of my favorite saturation plugins. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment below what saturation plugins you guys use the most. I'll see you on the next one.